My father was a welder. That's how uh, he took care of our family when we were little. I remember coming, he'd come home and have like, you know, it's covered in soot basically. And, uh, you know, it's just something they didn't think about. I actually educate people. I um, teach at Eastern Michigan University and I teach people on health and safety. And one of the biggest things I always tell them is, you know, as far as respiratory protection is to make sure that anytime you're in an environment that could hurt you or harm your lungs or to make sure to wear your protection. One of the things I teach them is that they might be okay right now, but down the road they might have a point where they have cancer when they retire. They might they might develop some illness that they don't see right now. And it's kind of like they call it like um, you know the quiet killer or the silent killer because it comes back in and it kills you long after the effects of, of being exposed to something. When you're around, you don't see a lot of respirators. Um, that's a pretty common thing. Uh, but uh, I. I'm not playing games with my health. And you see the 60-year-old welders, you know, that, you know, can't hardly breathe. It's, uh, it's open your eyes a little bit. And now that I'm older and I'm personally seeing the results of not giving it a second thought, yeah, you tend to pay a little bit more attention to those type of things. Being here and get, getting the next generation of people that have that need to be a welder, to be able to take care of their families, well, it's really important to me. It's, it's, it's not what will kill you right now, it's what will kill you 50, down, 50 years down the line when you're trying to play with your grandkids. So you got to take every measure you can now to ensure your safety in the future.